Okay, so that's the kind of first phase done. We've exported these, sliced them up into different elements. We're now going to fire over to Maya. Oh, boom. That's Maya. Oh, lovely. Maya. Fantastic. Whee! Where's Maya? There we go. Okay, right. So, <clears throat> right, Maya. Everybody should be familiar with how to navigate, alt, spin the camera, blah, blah, blah. Right, okay. So, the next thing is how we go about getting our image planes in. So, what we're going to do is just hit spacebar. Bing, and it's going to take us over here and then let's just go to this little view drop down and then scroll right way down to image planes import image let's go to desktop which is i've been really lazy i've just slung it on the desktop but you guys are going to be really organized um okay so we need to go back talk about organization i cannot find what i've just exported i'm just joking right okay so front view Hero front, so we've got these red lines, and these are going to be really useful for us to help line up our reference images. And again, now so we've set up the front view, we'll go view, image plane, import image, and let's go back to desktop, the north new image ref, and then hero side again. Name them, you should ideally be putting them somewhere which makes a hell of a lot more sense than just slinging them on your desktop because things generally get deleted when you put them on your desktop. Um, right, okay, so the next thing to do is make sure that these are all sort of facing the right way. The character's looking forward at us. Let's just drop a cube in. What we need to do is make sure our character first up is going to be facing positive Z because generally that's how elements get exported to Game Engine. So there, this value Z is positive. This value here is negative. So there we go. We need the character to be facing this away there we go get rid of that now what i need to do is um, make this face the opposite way type in negative 90 you might i might differ for you but yeah just spin it around like that that's fine okay so we can see lovely look at all these red lines it's really helpful brilliant hit space bar go to side view and then just grab we've basically grabbed both of these image planes just in, in the viewport, just marquee tool through them. Or what you could do is go to Windows, Outliner, and then grab them this way. Exactly the same thing. No different. And then just kind of pull them up like that. We just want to line these up roughly to the floor. And another thing to kind of point out is, really, we should, give or take, be having his feet. Because the ball of his foot is going to be at zero 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 world well not zero zero world space but we kind of want it to be planted near enough on the origin the character should be built on the origin so we've got this thick line that kind of indicates the z-axis the x-axis that's running sort of there and then if i go to front view you'll see it a little better the y-axis okay so what we need to do grab this uh, front view and obviously it's not central we need our character to be modeled on the axis on the origin there we go so this line give or take very rough <coughs> it's kind of running down the middle of this character um yeah we just, that'll do that's kind of okay that should be okay we might just need me to make a few adjustments maybe but on the whole that should give or take be okay that's just kind of plop it roughly there good that's great and then what we need to do is let's just create a cube again just purely for reference right so i can see this cube in this uh, front view and i can see the cube inside view so it's just all it was about was making sure that we had the space to be working so it, uh, there we go that's kind of what i wanted to illustrate if i pull this forward in positive space it's going to kind of encroach on being able to see the cube i.e. where we're going to be modeling our character so we need to pull this back well out the way just on the, the negative z axis select the side view and make sure that we can see this um, object that we're going to be modeling with and then pull this right the way out the way and then what we're going to do is select both image planes and again you could either marquee tool through them just by left clicking dragging go to windows or alternatively you could go to windows outline and select them both in there but i just like to do everything in the viewport it's way quicker and then we need to go into this if you haven't got this little um, tab open 
hit this up here just the channel box and what we should get is not this weird gray box that's just kind of popped up what we should be getting is a tab that indicates our display layers so what we want to be doing is we want to be putting in our um, image planes into a new layer okay so we're just going to drop them into a new layer and then it doesn't really look like anything's kind of changed but it has it's basically cr drop these into this new layer layer one and what i'll do is i'll rename it and we'll just call this ref just reference that's fine let's rename it so just to point out what these little um, letters mean so v is for visibility so if i toggle that it's going to toggle the visibility of our layer or items within the layer off and on T is for template and you can see there you've got this pink kind of bounding box almost around the image reference that we're using and R is for reference so basically means it's visible but we kind of kind of move it we kind of touch it which is perfect for what we want okay so that's kind of it really to be totally honest with you um, this is pretty much set up for um, modeling with what I would generally do is I would leave the image planes in the different orthographic views so the front view and side view and then in the perspective view I generally turn off image planes so that I can just see the model and then later on down the kind of modeling pipeline I'll import an image plane in the perspective um, I'll just quickly do that now just to show you what I mean and what I'll do is not me, image ref hero and then there we go because I've turned off image planes it's going to make it not visible if I turn off this obviously it hides them in both layers but that's kind of fine I'm not, not too fussed this is just to illustrate what I'm trying to do so further down the, the modeling kind of pipeline what I'm, I might need is you know to kind of think a bit more about the detail of different areas whatever so what I actually want to do is just offset this to the right see that how I can just offset it so when I come to model it I've got like a, a piece of artwork that I can use to help us out with with modeling and again what I'll do is I'll just plop that into a new layer and toggle that off and this can be like um, hero ref that'll do boom done right so now um, obviously it can be a little bit messy working with them in this view that's kind of why I would generally in perspective view just turn off the image planes for the time being and that is pretty much just ready to roll with uh, modeling our character so we've got our orthographic view front and side set up and then uh, our perspective view is also set up f further down the kind of pipeline so Okay, so what I'll do is I'm just going to save this out. Command Shift S, Hero Stage 1, whoosh, save it out. And there we go. Right, I'll see you in the next video. And what we'll be doing is we'll be blocking in the character. Um, okay, cool. Catch you later.